Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th. So, what do we have for around the 15th? What do we have for around the 15th? Timing is fluid. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is unity, partnership, togetherness, working together. Happiness. I mean, Two of Cups, first off, that's a happy couple, happy union, happy partnership. So, Temperance. Temperance. Three of Swords, Reverse Forgiveness. On the path to recovery. It's time. It's time to heal. This is, it is. It's time to heal a partnership. So there is, uh, somebody is on the path to recovery. They've learned some sort of lesson. It's a time of healing. It's a time of change. Things are about to change. Things are about to get better. This is accepting and allowing change, evolving, letting go of the past hurts. Evolved. Somebody has evolved, and it's and it's it's uh, allowing them to come together with somebody that they are in harmony with. There's harmony here, so there's there's some sort of harmonious partnership here. Hmm. Two of Wands, wow, two twos. Have faith and trust and believe. It's time to go down a new path. Focusing on the future. We have somebody here that is definitely ready. They are ready for change. They just want to focus on the future. It's like, they've. I feel like somebody has made a decision, you know, to leave the past hurts behind. They've changed. They've learned from them or their mistakes. Somebody has learned. Somebody's offering a hand or they're going to be offering something. I notice all these hands. It's like offering help. I think somebody may be offering help or offering their hand, you know take my hand or something trying to guide somebody down another path or something like that somebody has decided they have they, they, they this is a new purpose ready accepting so somebody is ready they're absolutely ready they're ready to go down that new path and focus on the future so this is all future based future partnership Focusing on a future partnership, leaving the past hurts behind. Four of Swords. This is, this is, see, look at that. That's like a death, right? It's like, but saying goodbye. Saying goodbye, you know, honoring it. Um, accepting it. Somebody is accepting so that something has ended. It's over. And it's like it's, there's acceptance that it's over. It's remembrance as well. Remembering the past, but on the path to recovery. So somebody's on the path to recovery. And I think that they are going to be coming together with a union with another person that, you know, they are aligned with. There's some sort of alignment here. And, and it's funny because there's evolving. Somebody has evolved, you know, the lesson that the, the past hurts has made this person evolve into the person that they are meant to be to be for this other person that they are aligned with. I think we have somebody that is afar. It's like this person is is a little maybe at some sort of a distance or they're a little ways away. They they may, there could be a sudden arrival or a sudden extension of some sort. Um 
leaving the past behind is big, okay? It's really big here. It's about leaving it behind, not focusing on the pain anymore. This is healing. It's very healing energy. The future looks bright. Look at the bright. The future is very, very bright. So we have a bright union, a bright partnership ahead. Unity. Seven of Pentacles. Now Seven of Pentacles is about investment. We have somebody here that is investing. Got to look a little bit closer. Somebody has has grown. They have grown a real lot. They have grown. They've uh, taken really, really good care care of themselves. They've been through a period of healing. I think it's time to relocate. Or it's time to plant their seeds someplace else. There could also be somebody coming around that you planted seeds with a long time ago. Maybe seven years ago. Maybe maybe uh, nine years ago. Um, but there's, I feel like there's something that has come, is going to come to fruition where the seeds were planted, you know, a while ago. It could be 14 years ago. It could be. Because I, I, anyway, it could be 14, 7 to 14 years ago. I feel like these two people have a lot in common. It feels like there could be like a reunion or, or something like that. And I feel like this is a reunion of partners that they may not have been together. It's interesting. It's like they may not have been together, but now it's time. Now it's time to come together. Now they both learned some lessons. You know, they've both learned some life lessons. And they've both had to bury the wounds of the past they've both had to heal the past they both had to evolve before they could come together so that's what we got we have evolving there's a change that is coming it's a very positive change we only got one reversal and it's a good one three of swords in reverse it's the end of pain it's the end of hurting it is it is. It's the end of a, of a painful situation. You've evolved. Okay. You've evolved into a different person. You're not the same person that you used to be. I get prepared. I feel like there's about to be an arrival. This has to do with a partnership that you probably, you know, invested in a long time ago. And maybe it just wasn't time. It, you needed to grow. Somebody needed to grow before they could, uh, or they needed to learn some sort of lessons because temperance is about learning lessons. It comes after the death card. They had to accept and allow a painful, you know, separation to happen so that they could evolve into the person that they are supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, the first card of the Two of Cups, is, which is a love connection or a partnership, doesn't have to be love. Now there's some sort of decision here with these twos as a choice. So you somebody's going to have to choose whether they want to invest, okay? So that's going to be on the table here. Do you want to invest in this partnership? Do you want to invest in this union? Can you nurture it? Do you have time for it? Are you available for it? Are you ready? Are you done with the past? And I do apologize if you hear the heater in the back, but it's cold in here. Anyhow, um, three of swords reversed. That is releasing pain. It is. It's healing. And we have we have on the path to recovery. Get prepared. Get prepared for um, something to come to fruition that you have been waiting for. It feels like you've been waiting for something. It's time. The Hermit reversed. This could be, if, so if you're single and you're watching this, you're single, that could be like the end of loneliness. No kidding. Okay, There's there could be, it's time to socialize. It's coming out of hiding, a reconnection of some sort.
somebody has been in hiding, you know, they've been in hermit mode, they've been alone. Now they're ready. It feels like they're ready. They're ready to come out of hiding. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I mean, we have everybody here. But this is the end of a painful uh, separation, painful situation where there's been a lot of grieving. It looks like there's been a lot of loneliness. There's been a lot of... Uh, Restriction. Somebody has been restricting themselves from opening up. You know, they've been grieving. Somebody's been grieving over a loss. And now it's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. And I'm going to focus on the future. So it's about focusing on the future. It's a big, bright future. You're about to get what you worked so hard for. What you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this. Here it comes. Here it comes. Um... Just going to make you very happy. Oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune. This is very happy. This is positive change. Very, very positive change is coming. This is this is good luck is on its way. It's the wheel of life in constant motion. Somebody may find themselves at the right place at the right time. And it's because they are allowing with that temperance card, they're allowing change. It's, this is totally about allowing change. Allowing uh, the the last chapter to end. When letting go of the restrictions, letting go of, you know, stopping it, just allowing and accepting. Somebody's ability to allow and accept is spinning them forward towards something very positive that they are destined to meet up with. Okay, this is a new partnership of some sort. Whether it's a love partnership, a work partnership, whatever it is, we have a new partnership here where there will be um, a connection. There will be harmony. There will be satisfaction. It will be positive. There will be, it's, this is like the wheel of fortune. So fortune, there will be, it's like a reward. Here's your reward. It's the reward for the effort that you have put in. You may have been through some sort of painful uh, death. You know, because this is like a death of a situation. And, and a death doesn't have to be a physical death. When something leaves your life, it may feel like a death. Okay? It's a grieving process. This is a letting it go. This is evolution. Okay? Somebody has evolved. They're, they're, they're really accepting it and, and saying goodbye to the past. Focusing on the future. Coming out of hiding. And the wheel is spinning in their favor. So this there could be some sort of... Um, destiny here with the wheel of fortune but the wheel of fortune is also about fate and free will so somebody's is somebody was uh restricting themselves with their free will choosing not to uh, let go of the past choosing not to but now there's a, some sort of change okay somebody ha is ready they're ready and they're going to go with the flow Going with the flow does bring in a very positive change. This is the end of a chapter. It's the end of waiting as well. I think we have somebody that has been waiting. They've been very lonely. They've been sad. And I feel like that time is up. I feel like the time is up. And I feel like that time is up because you have accepted. You have accepted that something is over. You have accepted that, you know, something wasn't or it happened to turn you into the person that you are now. There's definitely going to be a change. There's a change in the air. There's no doubt about it. It's a very positive change. For some of you, it's the end of loneliness. Somebody's going to come out of hiding. They may have been, you know, they may be at a distance. They may have been watching and they may have been um, healing themselves. I think that somebody was healing I think both people were healing. But now it's time to come together. Whoever these two people are, they have a lot in common. A lot. Very, very, very much. Four of Cups Reverse. This is interested see, taking an opportunity. Somebody is not, where, whereas they were ignoring... They were ignoring an opportunity or they weren't interested in love or they weren't interested in a partnership or they weren't, you know, they just didn't want to have anything to do with it. Now they do. 
This is definitely a change. Somebody can now see. Now they're really, really, really interested. Ready to look forward. They are looking forward. On the path, on the path to recovery. There's a new there's a new there's a new opportunity here that is very, very positive that can bring that's very fortunate. It's a very and it's a very fortunate event of some sort. One cycle is ending. It's the end of a cycle of resistance. Somebody is done resisting and they are focusing on the future. And because they're doing that, it's like, here it comes. Here it comes. This is, this is why. This is the reason. This is the reason it didn't work out. Because you have another partnership where there will be a lot of harmony and a lot of balance. And it's because of the choice that you have made. You have made the choice to leave the past hurts behind. Here it is. Hangman reversed. This was a struggle. It was a bit, really, really big struggle to let go. Somebody was having a very hard time letting go. Letting go of a grudge, letting go of the past, letting go of an ending, really, really trying to prove something, not wanting to accept. Somebody was struggling very, very bad, maybe even punishing themselves. And missing an opportunity, missing an opportunity, wasting time, hanging on, hanging on. Somebody was hanging on to somebody that, or something, that wasn't interested in them. But now it's like saying goodbye. I feel like this is saying goodbye and focusing on the future. That is the upcoming energy here. So be prepared. Be prepared to for good things to happen. This when once you choose to accept and allow and go with the flow and say goodbye to the past hurts and forgive because the three of swords in reverse is forgive and focus on the future they are going to bring you a bright opportunity that you have been waiting for and that is exactly what this is so good luck and thank you for all of the support that i have received in the last few days god bless